Novice is closing its high school. Teachers are losing their jobs. Yesterday, we told you the school is closing because of declining enrollment. Well, today, K-Texas education reporter Ashley King went to Novice to see how people are handling this news. Ashley. Well, Wayne, there are definitely mixed reactions throughout the town. Now, this is a decision that's going to leave five teachers jobless and the high school students in limbo. Nobody wants to lose their school, and uh, it would certainly, the preference would certainly be to keep the high school if that were at all feasible, but it's not. Superintendent Dale Freeman explains that in order to get additional state funding, small districts must reach an average daily attendance of 90 students. Currently, Novice ISD only has 80. If they eliminate the high school, they'll meet the pre-K through 8th grade average requirement of 50 students. We're trying to take a positive out of it, even though uh, it hurts your hearts to know that uh, this is our last bunch of seniors. Novice junior Derek Spike is upset he'll have to leave the only school he's ever known. I'm kind of mad about it since I want to be able to finish this year. I've been going out here since I was in kindergarten lived in this town my whole life. Novice alum and current parent Crystal Kincaid says she split about the decision. She thinks it'll be a bad move for the community, but a good thing for the kids. I think it's probably in their best interest. Um, they'll be able to get more extracurricular activities at a bigger school, um, uh, other classes, even college courses and stuff that Novice out here doesn't offer. And Superintendent Freeman tells us he is working with Winners, Coleman, Panther Creek, Jim Ned, and Clyde ISDs to see if they'll accept novices high school students. Thanks, Ashley. Here's an interesting fact about the novice students. A majority of them do not live in the novice ISD. According to the superintendent, only 36 of their students actually live in novice. 23 students are from the Coleman District. 19 students live in the Winters ISD. And two live in the Jim Ned School District.